Arcana Crest, the Replication, and you have my bow, guys. We can play Ari with Arcana Crest. I don't think that would be bad at all. We could also go... Let me just see if anyone is contesting Ari. This guy, maybe? I don't even know if he is. Alright, GG! Deserved! Do I even level? Do I even level? Do I even level? No. Do I even want a win streak? No. Do I even hold this? No. No. I'm pretty sure this is the play because we need a tier. Or we need adaptive, right? On carousel? We need freaking adaptive on carousel. I'm pretty sure that's the play. Um, but we need tier really badly, so just lost streak, man. It's all good, lost streak. Don't even uh, just sell the guy for 20 gold. We don't need three star. Um, we don't need the three star dude, right? We will never three star hacker him. It's all good. Perfect, man. Wow, well played. Already good decision making. I don't think I buy this. It can just be trash. It could be gold, but it could also just be trash. It could be rerolls. Rerolls or gold would be amazing, but everything else would be uh, very suboptimal, right? <laughs> Oh, we're freaking chilling, guys. Oh, we're actually chilling. Am I the only one playing Ari? I feel like there was one guy that might be Ari. Um, this guy. This guy might be Ari. But he has no Lilians and stuff. He leveled. We're uncontested, Ari, guys. Let's go. We picked up a lot of uh, Zoe's, Lilians, and Poppies before the Augment anyway, so... That is perfect, guys. And Arcana Emblem is extremely powerful with Ari reroll, of course. So much AP. If we reach the maximum cap, uh, it's gonna be, I think, 115 bonus AP, which is the dumbest thing ever, isn't it, guys? Is the dumbest freaking thing ever, isn't it, guys? 115, at least I saw one enemy have 115 AP. I'm not sure if he just had the usual three stars, right? These four ladies. Or if he had the Hecarim as well. But, I, like, obviously he didn't have Tariq or Rise Or Melio. Like, I would have... I, I would remember that. Let's just say that. But yeah, five Arcana with all of these three stars is very bueno, guys. Let's just say that. It's very bueno. All right. Alright. Uh, I can kill some units here, maybe. With this positioning. I can maybe kill some units. She gets the huge AoE damage. Let's see how it goes. Should be a good game. Adaptive Helm, Rabadons. Again, Ari's nerf doesn't matter. Or it does matter, obviously. Still good. Still extremely powerful. Still too OP. Probably gonna get nerfed again. Now the question is... What do you prefer, right? Do you prefer when they kill a champion? Make it completely unviable after it was dominating for a couple weeks? Or do you prefer if they leave it still viable and maybe leave it still too OP like Ari? That's, that's, it depends on your preference, right? I think they tried their best. There's another... I mean, I need tier, man. I can't take the Ari, bro. I need tier. It's three cost tier as well. Unf I would love to take the Ari. But well, we need tier, man. It's too good. <clears throat> it's too important. Double adaptive is this best build, like I always keep saying. You can also go blue buff. But the double adaptive is the more standard, the, more b the better version, because while her orb is flying, she cannot auto-attack, she cannot do anything. But during that time, Adaptive is giving her mana. That's why Double Adaptive is so strong. And G. Frick. I wanna, uh, I wanna see if I can kill some units. It's about it, right? I kill some units here, I'm a happy boy. We save some HP. I mean, against this guy, we win, though. Do we wanna win? We don't really want to win, but like against everybody else, I just kill some units. <laughs> like I lose hard. It's just that guy that I'm losing to. Eh, win against. Like it's just that guy. That guy's so weak. 
that's it, right? So, yeah. It is what it is. Oh. I cannot kill anything here. Very level 5, very strong. That's good. 79 health is definitely on the low side, I have to say. We're definitely very low HP, unfortunately, already. Uh, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Mm. Let's see if we can get some more Zoe's and stuff. Nice, nice. Oh. <laughs> imagine I had... Imagine I had the carry augment <laughs> for Poppy. Oh, that would be a happy day. That would be a happy day. If I had the carry augment for Poppy. I have to make myself weaker, right? I think I do have to make myself weaker. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I don't think we can kill the Nunu. We're focusing him. If we could just kill him somehow. Oh, oh, oh. No. 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 <gasps> too good. Gotta make myself weaker. That guy's too, too weak. That guy's way too weak, man. He's barely playing the game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't think what he's doing is correct. Because he has this uh, Frost Augment, right? He might just surrender, honestly. I feel like this is uh, very doomed. He's definitely the biggest eighth place contender so far in this lobby. At least if I was in his position, I would be very, very upset. Let me tell you that, guys. Alrighty. I mean, this is just beautiful, no? Like, I have a lot of units already. Like, I don't have Ares, but like, who cares, right? Is this, is this a two-star? Oh no, it's a one-star. So I have four Lilias, three Zoes. I don't have a lot of those. The, the, the armor is terrible, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we get... Uh, that's, that's okay. Just go Bramble. Um, okay, so hopefully we get uh, some Ares here soon. Random uncraftable emblem, you can go frick yourself. I mean, these shops are beautiful. I'm pretty sure I leveled there, right? After I find RE2, I'm pretty sure I level. Also, I'm supposed to itemize Lilia. Lilia's tank here. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I leveled there, bro. Like, th this this win is big. I, I can build a full win streak with this board. I think. Like, look at this. 3 Arcana, 23 AP already. I'm pretty sure this is worth to level here. Spend for gold, but I think it's worth because the Arcana bonus is big time. Big. I might be wrong though. I feel like it's good though. Dragon Spirit is complete trash. No offense. This is not that good with the positioning. Torn plated armor. Like, this is just a trash augment, right? I think. Maybe if the whole lobby is phys. Nah, bro. Like, there's no way. I'm pretty sure uh, Coma Caster is good, right? Coma Caster is good as frick, right? I think Coma Caster is very good. Oh, nice. There we go, guys, man. That's what we're looking for. You smell me? That is exactly what we were looking for. Okay. And now the question is... I right, good positioning, I think. I hope. Belt always goes on her, right? Okay, well played so far. You can see I'm getting some AoE damage value of the, of the Aureoles there, with this positioning. 
I was watching uh, the world championship, uh, the world champion Dish Soap play this comp. So I learned a little bit about positioning, when he does what. Because there's two different positionings he uses. Or positioning setups he uses. I mean, now we will just level to 6 at Wolves, roll down, pray for RE3. GG, it's a force. It's a forced if we get that. So basically what he does is you can do this, right? You can do this or you can do this. The difference is there's a bunch of enemies here. This will cause these guys. So this guy will move up here, block this unit here from going onto Ari. So usually it will be this, right? But like right now it's fine to do this, I think. He's tanky enough. But basically, uh, look, just look, watch now. If there was a unit here, it would go on Ari. But because he's here, he will block them from going on Ari. And look at this. I'm hitting three people at once with this positioning. You see that? I was hitting three people at once with the first two Arials. Which is extremely good, okay? Keep that in mind. That was the positioning he used the most. Now, most people use this positioning. This right here. I, lo I won this only because of positioning. So I only won this fight because of positioning, okay guys? Um, wow. That is a Tom Kench. There's no tier. I don't think I'm getting the Kench. That's really good. I got the Kench and it's uh, Rabadons. That's really good. Alright, let's go. So that was really good, right? That was really good. Now, some fights use this as well. Not exactly sure. This looked better, always. I feel like the fights he used this, it was worse. And then he went back to using this. He didn't, re he didn't really explain that much, unfortunately. I feel like this is just Gigabis. And then obviously you can do the same thing on the other side. This blew my mind. I didn't know about this thing, right? That's what I didn't know about. This guy blocking, you know, probably better to use this because it's so tanky. So this guy blocking the enemies off from moving up. That was the mind-blowing part. See, now I'm on the wrong side. I'm hitting one unit at a time. I will lose this fight, most likely. And it's just my fault. Well, you know, like, you, you try to predict where the enemies... Like, look, I only hit one unit at a time. I almost lost. I won lucky. Ah, good stuff. Okay. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I will just level here. For a last fight, play him. It's gonna be good. But yeah, yeah. So basically, obviously, you have three enemies per fight that you could fight. So you need to make your decision based on that. Right? You need to make your decision based on that. Look, four Arcana already. 44 AP. Holy freak. We're freaking fine dining, guys. With this freaking Ari, man. I would dine her, if you know what I'm saying, man. I'm a munch, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say I'm a munch, guys. See, now I'm on the left side. Now, against this guy, it's a solo tank, so there's no difference. There's a solo tank player. There's only one tank. So there's no difference there, like obviously you will only hit one unit. But uh, if I was against that guy with the locket that I was looking at, I would have obliterated him. And remember guys, the faster you kill the enemy, even if you would win anyway, positioning is very uh, important because you want to win as brutally as possible. Because they will take more damage, the more allies, ch ally champions survive. So it's really good. Have you seen Fishbone's RE? I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. It's really cool. Yeah, it, it can. Uh, she will shoot her ult into the backline when she's focusing the backline, and it will just hit everyone. It's very cool. It's very good. Or at least I heard it's good. Okay, I mean, we just need Ari. Like, no one's contesting me. We should be fine. Shouldn't be that hard to find. He's holding some Aries because, you know. It's broken, can't blame him honestly. Can't freaking blame him. 
that he's griefing me. It is a broken freaking unit. Nice, I got an Ari. Nice, I got it here. Perfetto. Oh wow, that's really good. Yeah, that is really freaking good. Uh, I don't really want this random effect. Can a component anvil? Okay, the cricket. That's what we call skilled, guys. That's what we call skilled, you feel me? I mean, this game's over, man. I see this guy moved sides. So I'm getting a little bit clapped here. I got out of position. Bro, I, it's so satisfying to have Arcana Emblem, no? I need three more Aries, and then push level nine. Hit five Arcana, I have a guaranteed victory. Two more Zoe's, three more Aries. Guaranteed victory if I reach level nine. Like literally guaranteed victory. The reason why I put this Emblem on her is because if I find a Thieves Glove, I want to put it on Poppy. And um, th this is just 150 health. I would like to have it on Poppy, but yeah. This is bad, apparently. Magic Wand is probably good. But then I have a second Rabadons, which is kind of weird, but it's not bad on Rise. This is bad. This is bad because your comp is very early game. Early, early fight. Early fight. I was trying to smell if I can find another one. Uh, I will just put this on her right now because I need the combat power. Um, I think this positioning is fine. <coughs> just watch this now. Look, see? Okay, it's not that good because he had them like staggered. There's definitely counter positioning, right? But remember, if they're counter positioning only against you, they might lose against other enemies that they're fighting, so... Always gotta keep that in mind. Everything is a trade-off in this game. It's a little bit annoying that I'm not finding Aries, bro. Like, I'm just... Yeah, I'm sad, bro. I rolled a little bit deeper, because if I find, like, one or two Aries there, I can keep rolling, and if I can 3-star Ari, I can keep my win streak the entire stage. And that is, of course, a lot of money, potentially. But right now, uh... I didn't find any, so I stopped at 30, and now I need to watch out a little bit. I'm a little bit broke. A random one or two cost stars up. That's pretty worth, no? Because I, I for sure win the fight with it. If, if I get a RE3 or Zoe 3, I win the fight for with it. Very okay, nice. Now RE is guaranteed going to be 3 star this fight. Zoe's trash. We will get a remover at some point, hopefully, and move the Rabadons to the, to the, to the, uh, what's it called? We will move the Rabadons to the other thing. See, I get two kills for the price of one there. Uh, move the Rabadons to the Rise. Two-star Rise is better than three-star Zoe, guys. Keep that in mind. This guy just fights a three-star Ari for the price of two gold. I spent two gold. That's about it. Did you see the golden pen news? Yeah, it looks really fun. It looks super fun. Good stuff. So he's playing four Arcana, by the way. He's playing Ari as well as a two-star Ari, but I mean that that just makes sense, right? It's understandable. Uh, what do I want here? There's a Melio. I would gladly take the Melio for later, just so I have him already. Because, I mean, there's no other items that I need. And it's a belt. It's not a bad item. Uh, redemption. Whatever, right? Uh, Morello. Morello, probably. Great for a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. The, the golden pan. Amazing for YouTube videos. Super cool. The golden... What is it called? The cape. The tactician, tactician's cape. Can't wait for that. Am I supposed to buy this charm? A little bit pricey. I feel like I don't need it. I'm definitely not supposed to do this. How much how much AP am I getting? 56. 56 AP we're getting. 
So against these guys, this positioning is better. But against this guy, against this guy, the other side will be better. So I guess uh, like I just pick my poison, right? I think I'm against one that is good for me. Yeah, yeah, that is good for me. Look, look, look. I'm gonna kill all three at once. Look, look. I'm hitting everything at once. Okay, I'm not hitting all three. Oh, and now this guy's off. Oh, it's because he he was hiding him behind. It's kind of. It's complicated. Like it, it is what it is, right? Like there's only so much you can do with positioning in this game. How does he have a uh, level eight Zera? That's kind of lame, guys. He has a level eight Zeroth, guys. That is lame. That is lame, sir. He has a two-star Ari, but nothing more. I only have six Aries. Like, I'm not finding any Aries, bro. That's about it. Oh, that's about it. I have to just roll down to zero. I mean, stage five, Ari three is way too late, obviously, right? The Giga Laurel. Doesn't matter that you high roll this and this early. If you just don't find any Aries, right? The, the, my, um, yeah. Might as well not have it. Might as well not freaking have it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't move. I feel like Poppy always has a bugged uh, hitbox, right? I feel like I clearly have the mouse on it. Whatever. I need three more Aries. That's too much. That's just too much. I need the duplicator charm basically now. Otherwise, it's GG. Yeah, yeah I, like I need a 3 star Ari, bro. It's way too late. I feel like I just sell this guy. Like I need the money. Yeah, if I find him later, it's fine. Ah, uh, 39 health is really bad. This 3 star Ari needs to be online. Way earlier. Okay, nice. Also, I can take out this guy. Uh, Zeraf would be insane as well. Like, I don't even play, um... I don't even play 4 Scholar. I just play 2 Scholar with Zeraf. That's probably the play, right? Anyway. Alright, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy now. That should be good. Sword is useless. Uh, two Olafs. A reforger for the sword is fantastic. Okay, nice. You think you can win? Uh, Morello? Morello, right? Morello or a tank item? Maybe it's just a tank item, bro. Because, like, I don't have Rise yet, and Zoe Morello feels so freaking bad, man. Like, Morello and freaking Zoe, one single, single target. Whereas the Redemption is kind of good. It's not bad. Damage reduction, it's not bad at all. I'm not sure if that was the right decision though, but Morello, when I don't have Rise yet, and when I'm not even sure if I'm playing Rise, because you best believe the best thing I can get here on Carousel is a freaking Zeroth. If I get a Zeroth on Carousel or a lucky level 7 Zeroth in the shop, uh, like that could have been one, that would have been amazing. Uh, then like you best believe that's the best thing we can play, right? Like you best freaking believe that's the best thing. I mean, positioning is fantastic, I think. Positioning is fantastic. Okay, he's like trying to outplay it a little bit. But you can see, look at the AoE. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, we'll kill the smolder very fast. Is he getting focused? No, he's not. It's fine though, bro. Look, 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 look. Boom, AoE again. Oh no, it's barely not hitting the the girl, but it's fine, like this freaking Elise is not that powerful. He didn't hit early enough, I think. Like he, you, you, if, you, if you have the Elise carry augment, you either need 8 shapeshifter or you need uh, 
you need a Smolder 2, so you really need to reach level 9 pretty quickly with a full win streak, and then, uh, yeah. He basically needs like 70 more health. <laughs> so, yeah, he has only a Smolder 1 star. Nice, Aftershock is perfect, man. That's pretty good. Hi, right, cool. Yeah, I mean, the main takeaway from this game is this, right? Like, and I feel like Ari is gonna be good for the rest of the set, so... Just keep that in mind. Whenever you play Ari, if you're trying to rank up, boom, okay? Not here, here. I, that, that's what I've seen be by far the most broken positioning. I'm just gonna stay like this. Like, I'm killing this Rumble and stuff fast. I think I'm against the one guy that I should be on the other side for. Ah. That's okay, I still kill two at once. The, the Golem messes me up because it walks forward, right? And then it's very staggered. So now, pretty much, I only hit one enemy at a time. Not very good, but it is what it is. How much Arcana bonus? 68 bonus AP. I will not be getting Xerath. But he is dying with two Xeraths. That is mwah, perfect. He's freaking dead with two Xeraths in the bank, so that's good. I mean, it looks like I'll reach level 9, though. I don't think I'll get that, right? Like... But maybe people don't want Thieves' Glove. Because, like, usually people still want to finish their items, but it seems like he's going for it. Sad. That is sad indeed. I don't like Shoujin with Force Scholar. So I'll just go Jewel Gauntlet on the Zoe. Um, so, again, like, we would like to move these items to Rise, like I said. We would for sure like to move these to Rise. Do I just level here? Second Tom Kench. How good is that? How good is second Tom Kench? Or just Portal? Portal is not bad. And I still make 30. Level 8 making 30. Portal is not bad. Portal is solid. Portal is a solid addition to the team. This is good. This is good. This is single, single tank, so we can't... Doesn't matter how we position. This freaking Olaf is dangerous as frick, isn't he? Very good items, right? Probably perfect items, I would say, even. Maybe Sterox. It's good, too. But he just gets obliterated. Guys, Ari's still broken. Let's not sugarcoat it. I will probably win this game, especially if I get a lucky Zera. Um, Because I will have to be a little bit lucky, because I will reach level 9. But I will have like maybe 30, 40 gold at level 9, and then it's gonna be hard to find a Xerath. But if I do... I'm getting 5, like I'm going so much, uh, oh, Enhance. Sure, like it could be a Xerath, sure. Alright, I mean this is also good. And then this is also good. Oh wow. And then you just put this here, because she blocks, body blocks this Hex. And then uh, they really can't get onto Ari with this. Like, there is no way they're getting onto Ari with this. And then, uh, le level... Yeah. I mean, this is just too good, man. Like, I'm too strong, actually. Even though I hit Ari pretty late. Oh, this Fiora is dangerous, though. He dashes away, though. How did I heal? Oh, the Yumi heals me. Yeah, the Yumi is healing me as well. So now I have um, Yumi healing, and I have the thing, right? How much AP does my Ari have? 400, Jesus Christ. 1,300 damage, 850 true damage per, per freaking ball. <laughs> it's just too strong, man. It's just too freaking busted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, the Yumi is great, by the way. Remember, they nerfed this, man. She was gaining 30% bonus ability power from all sources. Now it's 15%. They halved it, but it's still really good. Still freaking busted. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Arcana AP on Nora. Yeah, yeah, she has 86 AP because Arcana and Magic One. <laughs> so she just has a bunch of AP, so the Yumi just heals even more. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, even this is, might be enough to win. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like, this might be enough to win. Ginsu's on Rise is awkward. I, 
think I'll just go for a tank item. Isn't the whole lobby physical? Physical. Magic. Okay, the whole lobby's magic, bro. What the frick am I talking about? I mean, Ginsu's does nothing, right? It's fine, though. It's, fine. it's actually it's actually not even bad. At least I can put it on Nora. Remember, we sell Nora. We sell Nora. Okay, so this should be a good showcase. Please. Please. Yeah, and now, boom, look, see. Three, three at once. I think I will win against Dragon, guys. I think I'm about to win against the 12 cost charm dragon. Oh frick, I'm focusing this instead of the dragon. That's that's probably the loss then. Oh, and then it poops out this right before I focus rise. Okay, okay, okay. That was uh that was really unlucky. It's really unlucky. Okay, I mean I'm not rolling here, right? I'm not rolling here because. If I roll here, I would have to get rid of... Uh, okay, but I'm rolling for a charm. Oh, that's really good. These are pretty good items. Let's see, I'm hitting three at once there. Yeah, two, two kills at once. The, the Gwen dashed away. The Gwen is dead. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Alright, we're guaranteed top three. Two people are destined to die here because everyone is at one HP. Oh, except for me. So if, as long as I'm winning, two people are destined to die. Uh, okay, guys, hello. Can you please kill him? Thank you. Oh, top two, nice. <laughs> Someone lost to a ghost. It was probably my ghost, right? I can lose one more and then level and then roll down. So even if I lose this, it's fine. This guy has a bramble. Hmm. Oh, I mean, I'm chilling like this. I'm just connecting it again because this game likes to get bugged somehow. <clears throat> I don't have a remover for the rise, but that's okay. Zoe 2 is Zoe 2, whatever, man. Uh, Zoe 3 is Zoe 3, whatever. I see I'm killing a lot of units at once. Am I really gonna win without five things? Because, I mean, this guy is strong as frick. Like, like usually Vagar wins the game. Mm, close, okay. Zeroth and it's over. Zero on carousel, just do it. Frick it. Nope. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess it's adaptive. Most magic resistance I can find here. Power changes everyone. Alright, that should be it. 97 AP. So the other guy still had more. 97 AP, guys. But I might still lose. Because Loki, he's just gonna focus me. Ah, she didn't ult again. If she ulted again, nice, I still won. Holy frick. The, the Melio made a huge difference, guys. The, the last second Melio change was the winner there. Because uh, getting so many items is crazy, right? He built, he, he printed so many items. I think my positioning was messed up as well at the end there. We could have had it better because we don't want Ari to get focused so early by Vagar. I should have realized... I, I, like, I did realize it after the previous fight, but I was too slow because I'm a freaking boomer, guys. You feel me, guys? I'm a freaking boomer. You feel me, guys? Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe.